Hey guys, thank you for joining us again for another exciting episode of Yomo. This is the Year of Magical Learning podcast. Today we are doing Reflection 243. And this is, uh, I don't know if you would consider this one of the inserto from uh, Nassim Nikosola, but it, you know, it's a book by, by, by the, you know, the author. So, um, I mean, he, what, what do you think? He calls, it, he, he calls it one of his in, insertos. So, um, so I'll, I'll go with, I'll go with his, his definition, I guess, but, uh, um, you know, this particular book is, uh, one called the beta procustus. I, I, I don't, I don't always know. I can't remember if I say that right. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, um, uh, it's a philosophical and practical aphorisms by Nassim Nicholas Taleb, um, one of the authors that we both love, uh, you know, and, um, probably, probably one of the most, you know, influential voices on, on a lot of the stuff that we talk about. So this is what he has a, a volume of five books series um uh about randomness basically this one's a little weird um uh, it's just like a book of aphorisms um so it's a really short book of like just phrases and stuff like that, that that he you know has distilled down and and you know likes to to share from wisdom that he's accrued over the years and kind of like one-liners and stuff like that that he really um enjoys um so the uh, the title of this book actually you can give the description of why it's called the better percusis if you want um uh, do you want to do you want to take a shot at it <laughs> Well, you can say, I mean, it's, I think, uh, I mean, it's just a story from Greek mythology. So, I mean, yeah, it's a, it's a, a man who makes all of his visitors try to fit his, um, his bed size to, to perfection by, by stretching them to the sides of the bed or cutting off limbs or whatever. Basically, it's like, you know, trying to, um, uh, really make the world fit our view, um, essentially, and, uh, um, versus, you know, just embracing the, you know, the, um, the chaos that is around us. And, 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 um, yeah, I don't know. That's kind of my take on, on, um, how. Right. That... Right. I mean, it, 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 it's, it's about, you know, the, 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 I guess the story behind the better Pacustus is, you know, the, the guy, the guy's name, uh, is he's a basically a rich merchant a rich businessman. And he, he has this hobby, of his that he um he would uh, go and and seek and invite travelers to his house you know kind of invite him and give him give them hospitality feed them dinners and whatnot and then at the end of the day you know he would uh, uh kind of like invite them to stay overnight so that they can sleep and but whenever they when that starts is when they bring out the bed the bed is basically the same size as everybody else so Anyone who is shorter than the bed, he would stretch their limbs to fit the bed. And anyone who's taller than the bed, they he would actually, you know, uh, cut the, the the limbs so so that you know they it will fit. So it's it's a the one size fits all. Approach. It's it's a <laughs> yeah. aphorism for you know they are you know it's a one size fits all kind of concept, and and that is reflective of what we see today is everything is cookie cutter and everybody has to fit into this mold especially in the corporate world and that's that's what people say hey you know you have to conform to this this societal mold that we have set for you Here, here's our values you have to you have to be these if you want to fit into this culture you know it's um, not that you, it's yeah. not that if you want to fit in if you have to fit in because you it's not like you have a okay. choice right yeah yeah right? yeah because, well please we pay you to fit in. If you don't fit in, we will not pay you, and you will leave. You know. Um, uh, I mean, so. it, it, before before the advent of the um, the freelancer, right? You can't even freelance because they won't even sell you insurance. Right. Right. Yeah. I mean, no one will cover your health insurance. So people say, well, if you need health insurance, you have to work for a corporate because they want to sell to corporations. Uh, right. And and a lot of these other um, perks that you have with company they they you you you, you oh, can't man my eyes i cannot touch them because it's luca and his pink eye so <laughs> I, have, I have something in it and i i can't fix it i can't touch it all right go ahead sorry i'm just well, if I'm, I'm, I'm if i'm acting weird over here i'm doing i'm trying to like <laughs> not not i'm trying to get something out of my eye that's in my a eye podcast so. and a movie yeah right yeah <laughs> <laughs> so so anyway um so yeah this book is a uh, you know um about aphorisms in general that Nassim Nicholas still have lives by. And they're just kind of funny. Sometimes they're really witty. Sometimes they're deep. Sometimes they're just comical. Sometimes they're just takes on his takes on life, you know, and whatever. Um, but uh, this reflection is 
um, uh, specifically the one that was most impactful for me um, that I still remember is uh, what I learned on my own. I still remember. Um, and, uh, and I started this, this particular reflection off by, by saying, if you, if you put a gun to my head, no joke, like, and you just said, Hey, Chris, you got a, you got a gun right now. You know, um, tell me the first thing that you uh, tell me, tell me something that you remember from 16 years of your formal education from kindergarten through, um, uh, my collegiate, you know, graduation and undergrad right now, like today, I, I did this exercise for myself. I was like, I was sitting there typing in the morning and I was like, I was like, Chris, just tell me. But somebody put it, pretend like there was somebody put a gun to my head right next to me, like name it right now. What's the first thing that comes to mind? And I swear to God, I could not think of anything. I was like, I was racking my brain. Like, what did I learn in like Spanish class? Like, you know, what did I learn in, in, in algebra? I was like, what, you know, I was like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Like, I, I don't know. Like, you know, in uh, a verb, I don't know. You know, like, yeah, I, I, um, uh, I couldn't, I honestly could not think of any, any particular concept or, or case study or anything that came to mind that I had to study in college or in grades in high school, grade school, whatever, nothing. It was like a pure blank. And I was like, I, I dug a little bit deeper and I was like, okay, you got to come up with something. What's the first thing that comes to mind? Uh, and, um, and the first thing that finally popped into my head was um, uh, one that you've, I've shared with you before in the past is um, uh, two plus two does not always equal four uh, from econ 368. <laughs> um, which is my my philosophy of economics class, and I and it made me chuckle because I was like, I and this is no joke, you know. I mean, obviously this is a, it was just an exercise that I was doing, but like, but like that was the first thing that that stuck to my in my head because that was the only thing that I can remember that I learned on my own, you know. Like he he just gave us a scenario, and we had conversations together, and we talked it out, we rationalized through it, we 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 talked we we ill irrationally talked through it, like we just had a conversation about about one of these little these little scenarios that this guy would give us every single day. And he would ask a question and then we would go explore and we'd talk through it, you know, like, and that was, that was our class. And I, and, you know, and, and for me, it was the weirdest experience ever because like for, for 16 years of my, of my academic life and like academia, I guess that is not how I learned this class. I took my senior year. Um, um, it was my last semester in college. Uh, and it was called the philosophy of economics. It was the weirdest class that I ever took. As a matter of fact, I thought the professor was fucking batshit bonkers. I mean, like <laughs> I thought he was, I was like, this guy's crazy, man. Like I was like, he's fucking nuts. He just gives you this, 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 this packet at the beginning of the year. And he's like, here's some mm -hmm. questions we're going to talk about at each class. You're based off of participation of in the, in the, in the discussion, you know, your job is to go read some stuff the night before and just be prepared to talk about some stuff, you know, and you're like, you're like, okay, like, what does that even mean? So like, like, how is he judging us? I don't know. I don't know. Nobody knew. And they were like, he's like, we're not going to have any papers. We're not going to have any homework. We're not going to have anything. He's like, you'll have one paper you have to write for, you know, uh, the, the, your, your final exam. And, uh, and we'll do it in class. And uh, everything else base is, is based off of participation. And, uh, and he's like, we're going to, you know, basically, it's like, we're going to get weird in here. We're going to talk about some weird stuff. We're going to, we're going to like, you know, like communicate with each other. We're going to, we're going to problem solve with each other, you know? And I was like, I was like, what the fuck? Like, I was like, this, I was like, whatever, man, this is, I just need to take this class to finish, check the last box in my econ minor, you know, that I had in my, in my business school degree. And I was like, I'm ready to get the hell out of the school. Like, and, you know, move on with my life. Like, like, I'm like, this sounds like just like a total blow off. I don't have to do homework. I don't have to do, I don't have to participate if I don't want to, like, I don't have to write papers. Like, I'm like, I'm good. I'll just, I'll just coast through this one. Right. You know? So, um, along the way though, um, you know, as, you, as I've told you, I got, I got intrigued by it, you know, um, because he would pose an interesting question. We would have some interesting discussions in class. I would participate a little bit, but it was a little bit out of my comfort zone. Not that I didn't love to do this stuff outside of this class, but like in academia, I didn't know how to didn't I didn't know how to behave because it's not what I had been ingrained to learn for my entire life. Academia to me was you show up to a class, the professor reads some shit off of, a, you know, off of a, cur a defined curriculum that you're supposed to like memorize and learn and, and, you know, do homework assignments throughout the course of the year, take a few tests, regurgitate out what you were told, get a grade, pass the next, pass the class, move on to the next class. Like that was academia to me, right? Like that was learning to me for my entire childhood and development. Like you threw me into a class and it was, that's, I don't remember anything from that process. Like, like, I mean, and I'm not even joking. Like it, it, it it's, it's, I, I just told you, I put, I pretended somebody was standing right next to me with a gun to my head. I could, I still, I'm doing it right now. I still can't remember anything. The, the first thing that popped to mind was the class, the one class that I took, that was the opposite of every class that I ever took in academia. Um, uh, and, and it was the one that's the most impactful. And I wish I would have had more professors like this. And I wish I would have had more classes like this because it would have taught me how to think. It wasn't until after long, long, long after 
um, uh, um, that class that, uh, you know, yeah, I, I found my own problems and I problem solved in my, in my work life and things like that. But like, but pure knowledge learning for the sake of learning, like that was a foreign concept to me until, until this journey with Amelia and, and with you, um, you know, like it, it, it was never just learning for the sake of learning and exploring for the sake of exploring. So like this lesson was really impactful for me to remember, like what I learned on my own, I still remember like is so true because you can put it, if you did the same exercise in the past three years that you and I have been doing this stuff and you said, Chris, put a gun to your head, you know, name, rattle off the things you've learned in this, in the, in the year magical learning time frame of your life at this point in time, I could, I could probably spit off 50, you know, um, you know, I mean, and instantaneously. And not only that, like, I mean, most of them will probably be titles you see in these, in these reflection titles, you know, uh, uh, like a beaver must dam, or, you know, focus <laughs> on your values or, you know, uh, whatever else we, you know, little catchphrases we say, or, or, uh, you know, this is my memory palace, you know, like, you know, from, uh, um, you know, what I'm, um, I could, I could write off a million of these if I wanted to. And that's how, like, like, that's why this journey has been so impactful um, overall, because it's, it's, it's just pure learning for the sake of learning about what I wanted to learn and what I'm exploring and what I'm exploring with you and ideas that we're spinning up together and questions that we're asking together. And we're going to then go find research and, and come back and, and say, Hey, this is what I think it is. Right. You know, and then we remember that way. Right. So, um, uh, I don't know. I thought this was like, just like one of the best, like aphorisms that he said during this one that it just stuck in my head where I was like, it's like, yeah, that's exactly what it is. Like, this is, this is when you learn for yourself, you know, you, you still remember eventually, but when somebody else is shoving knowledge down your throat and just got to regurgitate it out, you don't remember shit. Like you don't remember anything about anything, honestly, at that point in time. Uh, so I will uh, turn it over to you for, for comment, but I wanted to quickly say, uh, you know, here's some of my other favorite aphorisms from the book. I wrote like the, the other, the other top four out of the top five. Uh, one was to cure yourself with a newspaper, spend a year reading the week's previous newspaper. Um, have you ever done that before? You ever watched like a news, like, you know, like, like I, I record some news programs um, and every once in a while I turn it on right before bed, but it'll be like, you know, last week's or something like that. And I haven't caught up on, you know, a little bit of a while. And it's like, this is, what are we talking about? <laughs> like, I'm like, <laughs> like it's, that stuff's like way past already. Like, it's weird, you know? Um, mm. uh, have, you, have you ever read like a newspaper from, from a week ago and like tried to, you know, uh, no, I, yeah. I don't. I wouldn't waste my time on it. It is. I mean, it's a waste of time. It's the point, right? You know, uh, um, you know, for for um, the second one, this is probably my favorite one. Uh, for for um, b besides the reflection, mm -hmm. one. for so, for so many, instead of looking for a cause of death when they expire, we should be looking for a cause of life while they're still around. Um, and uh, and I don't know, man. That one was like, you know, I was like, you know, it's like, duh, right? You know, live in every day, focus on your values, like. Like, why are you living today? You know, not, 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 Hey, he died of a heart, heart attack or whatever. It's like, why did he live every day? You know, like, I mean, it's, it's uh, I don't know. That one like was like, you know, a big, big uh, explosion in my head. Uh, the next two were, were conscious uh, ignorance can expand your world. If you practice it, that's the, I don't know shit, you know, um, and, and really meaning it, I think, you know, personally. Uh, and uh, uh, I, I do think that can, that can really expand your world. If you, if you always try to keep that beginner's mind um, it's hard, but you know, try to do it uh, and then uh, finally of uh, what makes us fragile is that institutions cannot have the same virtues such as honor truthfulness etc as individuals and this is what we talk about all the time like salesforce and their values is not a thing like i mean it is sure you can you can organize a culture around around a business but a business isn't a i, mean, I, I don't know it, it, it is but it's not it's always the people that make it up uh, and, and, and their values are what matter, you know? Um, so anyway, I, we don't need to get into that one. We can, we can talk about that stuff later, but I, I thought that was an interesting, you know, idea as well. So I'll turn it over to you. Uh, you start wherever you want to start what I learned on my own. I still remember whatever you want, okay. wherever you want to go. I mean, this book is, is not really a, a book in my, in, in my opinion. Uh, it's just a, a list of bumble stickers, uh, saying, <laughs> much, yeah. uh, to kind of put it bluntly. Uh, but it has a lot of values in terms of the lessons in the obvious of the saying. Um, but I, I really like the the fact that uh, the even the the reflection title it's very very uh, profound because what I learned on my own I to remember to me if you don't make anything your own it's not yours and if it's not yours how can you remember it right because to me. Regardless, if you say, hey, you know, I really like that bumper sticker or I really like what Christian True say, hey, you know, be with my stand. 
you, you can hear that a thousand times, a million times. You can get sick of hearing it, but you don't make it yours. Right. It, it would never stick. So to me, learning is like if you don't make it your make it your own, then you did not learn it. Really? So it's it, it's just a fact that everything that you learn, you have to make it your own. You have you to say experiment. So so what, 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 what? I mean, I I can say well, hey, you know, you you may have some kind of a, a scenario or problem, right? And it is your problem, right? I can I can sh- point to you to thousands of solutions, but if you never took it and applied it to yourself, you're never going to fix it. I can't fix it for you. It's not my problem. I cannot fix it. Only you can fix the problem. So only you can learn it. Only you can make it your own. So to me, this is very profound in a way that regardless of how many books you read, regardless of how many TV you watch, regardless of how many degrees you have, if you did not make it your own, it was never yours, and you cannot keep it. I agree. So that to me is like, hey, yeah, I say, oh, I can, I can learn something on my own, and I can learn things I want to learn. I can probably be more an expert on that subject than you in ten years of trying to force learning down your throat. It's like drinking from five hundred. You know, any water that goes to your mouth, right? If you don't swallow that, it didn't go into your body. Right. <laughs> it just gushes out. So. Regardless if I'm I'm drinking from from the dripping of, of the faucet or drinking from a fire hydrant from a fire fire hose, right? If I don't take it take it in, then it's, it was it was never mine. It's so like, you think um, you think like about a... the, the amount of water from a person who I am purposely wants to drink from this drip of the faucet. I probably have more water in my stomach than you would have, you know, taken it from the fire hose. It, it it's exactly i agree it's exactly like what we talked about almost yesterday about um you find a problem then you go find your then you go study the answer then you go find you know then you go into the academic world to to like research and to study and then come back and apply it and study and find and it, all those things right like that's how that's how you make it your own you could spend your entire lifetime in academia and not know anything like literally i mean it reminds me of you spent uh, 16 uh, years in education. I don't remember a thing. You don't remember a thing because a you thing. didn't have a problem to apply it to. I had no, I had, I had nothing to to channel my my to connect the dots to to attach to to like make it a part of my memory palace, right? Like I had no nothing that was that was it's something that I cared about in any of those topics, other than maybe tennis or sports or athletics or something like that. You know, where where I had to do a lot of doing and problem solving out there. Um, which is probably one of the reasons why I love sports, but no, but, they, it, but the thing is, I'm saying without without the problem, a problem for you is a a a thing you want to solve, good. And for you to solve it, it's like, hey, because I like tennis, so there's a there's problem that I say, well, I, I want to you know hit a, a forehand better, or whatever. That's still a problem for you, and yeah, because of that, you, whatever whatever solution that comes your way, it's gonna fit into that glove of problem. You and I can read this book of uh, the better procrustes, or I can read the Proverbs in the Bible. I can read whatever. I can read like thousands and thousands of bumper stickers. None of them will stick. Yeah. None of them will stick unless I have a problem and these, some of these saying can apply to it. And only then that will be, it will be my own. Then I will learn it. And then once I learn it, I can remember. That's what exactly. I'm saying is you have to understand, like for you and I were talking about, you know, the, the, the rating of professors, right? We don't know how to rate professors, right? Mm-hmm. But that's the thing is you, you have to understand the, 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 uh, the need without the need, whatever solution comes, it's going to pass you by as, as if you, as if water is flowing down the river, it's not going to stick to you. If you did not intend to drink, from the fire ho- from fire hose, you're not gonna have anything inside of you, right? Right. It, it's just one of those things where you have to have some kind of a hook, right? The hook is your problem. Well, the hook, anything you throw at it, it's going to, you know, go past it. If a if a hook is there, it's gonna grab. So that whatever you grab is gonna stay, and that's become yours. And and you notice one of the things that I noticed from from these most of these uh, proverb books and in this book in particular is it. The 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 saying usually flipped 
uh, the society's um, um, conform- conformity upside down. Yeah, right. Yeah, I mean, it, it's just like society is the box com- a little bit, you know. Society is completely getting like completely opposite of what it should be done. And then, and, <laughs> and the thing is, when you look at the um, um, the book, the, the book, the, the concept of the better procrustes, you know, it looks- See, I just said it right there, like remembered stability, right? You know, uh, uh anyway, yeah, 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 yeah. but I think if you look at that, that bed of percussion is very, um, I guess prevalent today in today's society because everybody's like in the, this individual, all these individuals, you, you jam them into this, this life hack building of, of whatever life hack circles, that's the word right that's the word and then, and then what, whatever you do is say hey okay what we need to do guys is we need to take the commonalities of everybody that is involved and we say well what's the commonality that's like the bed it the bed is, is like the average of right. all the people and then this is become the cookie cutter that we're gonna try to fit everybody in so a tall guys come in we chop off his head and chop off his legs to fit a short guy comes in, we can stretch him. So you think about it, any individual differences, when it goes into this collective hive of this corporate, right? It has been trimmed because it doesn't have the denominations. It, it's, it's and so a, you, you, you create the better procrucis right. in modern world, in modern world, uh, age, in modern age society. It's, this is what we do. It's like you, you it, and everybody else went into this, this Salesforce uh, ecosystem, right? Everybody has their, their extremities of their, um, their, their talent, their character, whatever. The extremities are trimmed because it doesn't overlap any of the extremities of the other people. You take the, the commonalities of, the, of all the values of all these group of people and you say, well, these are the value that this Salesforce organization will hold and anything that is excellent, we're going to trim it, right? Yeah. And so you create this cookie cutter bed that is neither long, neither short, it's average. It's the distribution curve. It's take average. You take that bed and become this cookie cutter of values. And anyone comes in, you either gonna stretch them or you're gonna trim them off. Yeah. This is a modern day bed of procrustes. I mean, that happens in everything. It's called. I was I was joking because that's the 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 the, the term for that in in pop culture is is a life hack. If I ever fucking hear somebody say the words life hack again to me, I'm gonna like like like. No, yo mole is a life hack, man. You know, like I mean, yeah, no, it's not. Like I mean, it's this has nothing to do with being some how-to guide of of how to of how to find happiness or or purpose or something like that. This is just two people exploring, you know, uh, uh, concepts and figuring out how they want to apply that to their lives going forward. You know, because we care. This is important to us. But we're not gonna go bottle all this up and say, hey, everybody, this is exactly what you should do. You know what I mean? Uh, like that. That's what. That's what you know. The self-help industry gurus do. That's that's what that's what all these you know life hacks that are like. I'm not you know, telling t- you to do anything. About. I'm saying, hey, right. I'm pointing to you. Say, hey, this make, is it, make possible, your bed the way you want to make your bed. You this know? is my a possible solution that works for me. You got to go and figure it out if it works for you. Okay, it, it, and I I told you that before. What works for me, likely it won't work for you. It but definitely will. You can work learn works from for Tim you Ferriss. Can doesn't, learn, doesn't work for you me. can learn from you can learn from what I did. And you and distill it. You synthesize. You synthesize. Okay, True has this problem. He uses solution. Okay, I have a similar but different problem. Can I morph some of these things to fit me? That is what we are advocating to you, because my solutions. It's my solutions. It's not yours. Exactly. You think about it. I can give you a thousand solutions, but it's still my solutions. It's not your solution. How how can it fit you? How can it how can it fix your problem? It you cannot. Can't. So what we're advocating is, I'm I'm point I'm merely pointing to the problem I have and the solution I I, I use. Your job is a how can I take that and synthesize it so that it fits my problem because your problem is going to most likely be unique, and only you can find a solution for your problem. I cannot give you the solution. We can take it. A, take it. Because take, it I, I agree. I mean, take it a step this further. This is what I'm saying carefully. No, no, I know. If I give you my solutions, it is my solution. It's not yours. 
Think about uh, well, it. Think uh, what I just said. <laughs> take, take, it a, take, it a step, take it a step further, because we've talked about this at least 30 different times. Your solutions are your solutions now. Like, even if you went back and told your 20-year-old self, these are the solutions, even yourself won't listen to yourself because it's not their solutions. Like, it's not- <laughs> it, listen, and, and your solutions in, when, you're, when you're 55 is not your solutions where you're going to be right now either. It's like, it's all time and space dependent. Like you always say, if you step into a creek at one point in time, that's the first time and the only time that you'll ever step into that creek at that time. So like, yep. like Yomel is, is, a, is, a, is a shot snapshot of, of time of, of my life with Amelia, with you, with all this stuff. And we'll, we'll continue to do this, but it won't look exactly like this anymore going forward. But like, we'll, we'll build on our own lessons. But like, even I could not go back to myself and say, hey, Chris, in, in, 15, in 13 years, here, I'll give you this book. I even wrote it down for you. Here, go read every one of these lessons and you'll figure out what I'm talking about. You know, like, like it, it, uh, it actually reminds me of um, that book, uh, Rules for a Night, um, that we did, you know, where that guy wrote for his, mm-hmm. his children, you know, the rules of how to be a knight. And my, my, my thought process of that is, is like, no, Luca, Amelia, you know, your children, like, you guys need to go figure out how to be your own knight, you know, like, because that's exactly that's what life is, right? You and know, that's what we're advocating. We're right. advocating to carve your own path, right? This, to us, it's the essence of what Yomo is about. It's the essence of what clubbing is about. It isn't about giving you a solutions. It's giving you possibilities. Yeah, questions. It's questions, giving you questions to ask for yourself, for you to ask yourself, how would I fix this? To kind of give you more of like, you know, more of like an avenue to explore. Right. Right. It, it, it's all about the discovery because the discovery has to be your own. No one can, no one can walk in your shoes. Yeah, your problems are your problems, not my problems. I don't care about your problems. Like, I, I, like, I can't, even if I want right. to, I can't. Like, right? Even, even my, if, even if my kids have problems, I cannot help them. I cannot True. give them a solution. I, I can only guide them in terms of what I see, and give them enough data point to say, well, you're gonna have to use the data point I give you. And then use that to synthesize your own solutions to the problem that you have. Right. You're going to have to find your own way because your way is your way. My way is my way. If I give you my way, it's still my way. You won't remember. It, I mean, that's, because that's, thing that's is, the point. Yeah. This is what I'm saying is if you don't make it your own, it was never yours. And you won't remember. Well, how will you remember if it's not yours? That's what I'm saying. It's like, if it, if you don't make it, the whole point of all this is to remember, right? Like the whole point of Yomo isn't just to learn from a new book and, and, uh, and read a new book. And but, I'm, but I'm saying like, is that the, the, the fact that if you don't make it your, your own, you did not learn it. So you can't say I've learned something without having interest in it, without making my own. So that's not possible. I agree. And if you don't make it your own, you don't remember. If you don't learn it, you don't remember. Right. You don't make it I own, mean, you don't learn it. So you cannot say I've learned something. I've learned it when, in fact, you didn't make it your own. So that's that's like anti-learning. <laughs> like it's, that's just knowledge consumption, is what that is. Like that. that, that not that, even you can even. I mean, it's basically like I I get splashed with water, but that's all. That's all it is. There's there's nothing that sticks because I don't. Want, I mean, it doesn't. It doesn't stays with you. It just. It just transient. Whatever yes. comes to you, it's just transient. Just like I go and I look for a diamond, right? I, I'm going to dig a bunch, a bunch of dirt, right? I've come across thousands and thousands of, of, of grains of dirt or sand or whatever until I find a diamond. But do I remember any of the dirt that I, I, I come across? So any knowledge you've come, it's just like these, 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 these you know, pieces of dirt that you kind of come through to find the thing that you're looking for. And only remember, hey, I found this diamond, right? Or this treasure or whatever that you're looking for. But do you remember all of the dirt, all of the pieces of rocks and, and peppers and sand that you have come through that passed by to, to your hand? Do you remember any of them? You don't. You, 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 you don't focus on it. So it's just, it's just a transient passing by. Right. So That's, in the end, what's right? What's the point? <laughs> it's, it's, all, it's all about, yeah. is, there, is there a... Is it something that is interest to you? If you don't have an interest, there's not a problem. You don't have a question. You, you don't have a, a, you right. a beautiful question. You a beautiful question. It's not possible for you to learn it. 
you, you can say learn something, right? It's not learning. You're not learning. It's just like you don't remember anything in your 16 years in college because how no. much information you think has passed anything. through your brain? It, uh, I, mean, I mean, you, you and I have amount. actually, quote, unquote, memorized the stuff to, to, to pass a test. Right, but we don't remember. So can we memorize something? <laughs> I mean, I get. I guess maybe, maybe, maybe you could argue like some of the basic blocking and tackling stuff, like like geography and and like you know maybe grammar and like grade school. No, or something you like had that. to learn like, it. You you had to learn it because you made it your own. That's why you learned it because there was a, well, yeah, I had to write. Yeah, I mean, it was right. an interest. Right? Okay, maybe there's some question. It's it's not a it's not a, a significant question, but it's still a, a point, question for you to remember even the, the the syntax and grammar, because for example, for me, right, mm -hmm. the only reason why I learned some of this grammar is because I go to school. I came here when I was like ten years old, so I was in like fifth grade something, right? I can't speak well, so people are laughing at me. So the reason why I learned this thing is because somebody's laughing at me, and that becomes my prop. It becomes my 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 point of focus. And right. then I said, "Well, I'm gonna learn the grammar." I said, "Why? Why? Why they say? Why are they laughing at me when I put these these words together and say, well, 'Well, you're you're funny, right?' right. And, and then that's that's the interest. Because if no one laughed at me, I would not have changed. I would make I would name you no need to learn any grammar for right. you. You learn grammar for whatever the reason, but there has to be a question, having to be have a point of fixation for you to actually get that into your head." Yeah, so I mean, whether I, that's I tackling, running, tennis, whatever, there has to be a hook. There has to be a point of focus for it to stick. Agreed. I mean, yeah, that, that's why, like, I mean, I, I don't think you could sum it up any better than that. I mean, there's just like, there was nothing that I ever learned in school that I can, that I can honestly say that you can I wanted force to learn. It all you want. Like, you can I mean, force it all you want. Because the thing is, we have always crammed for the test. And we have always temporary, short-term memory, able to recall it. But right. then a month after, a year after, it completely washed away. Uh, I mean, so it, you it, did not learn anything. So I, I can remember, like let's say I let's say I can remember hmm. the the let's say I remember this um this phrase, right? You know, what I learned on my own, I should remember, I can remember that and I can say, Well, if you test me, you ask me again in the next five minutes, I can say say it. In an hour I'll probably forget it. Because yeah, it is, yeah. I didn't made it my own. There's but, nothing. But you won't. You won't forget eat the frog. You won't forget a beaver must dam. You won't forget. Right, you know, because, focus because on your values. You won't forget because you know, that I mean, applies to your fixation, right? You, you have won't. a point of fixation. You That's won't forget why all of your truisms. You know, like I mean, you know that we we've been documenting over here of like how to train your elephant or system one, system two, or the you, elephant you and the I are, are so like vivid in our head about system one, system right. two. We cannot even get it. Conscious living, to, to, you know, like you like get it to song, be, like, yeah. we can't even mix it up from system right. one to system two, right? We know exactly what we mean when we say system one. We know exactly what we mean with system two because we have a fixation on that. So for most people, system one, system two, it's interchangeable. You say, oh, I don't know. Like whatever. No, left brain, right brain. Yeah. No, yeah. Left brain, I don't know. Right. You know yeah. Uh, wait, left right. brain does this, right brain, right? You know, like. <laughs> you, right. If you still have to try to do this, I like, right. you didn't learn it. <laughs> Right. Yeah. 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 I mean, <laughs> like, I mean, you just, you just know at a certain point in time, like, I don't, I don't have to think about how I want to swing my forehand, you know, or something like that. Like, I just, I just know, like, I mean, I've, I've, I've done it a million times. I don't think about it. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't think one second about like what I'm trying learning, to do. Le I think learning is whenever you have passed that knowledge down to the elephant. Yeah, I agree. I think that's exactly right. what it is. And, and that's, and that's you when didn't, you, that's you when just you remember holding it and say, hey, I'm going to try to mesh this into, <laughs> into this elephant and that's, see it work. And it's still, it's still hit, a, he's that's not a good trained one. yet. That's a really good point. I think like academic learning is just your writer um, by himself, you know, hanging out off the elephant, like, like real learning. Is is your writer and your elephant coming together, you know? Um, and uh, right, but the thing is, I, 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 so the thing is, it doesn't matter whether it's academic or something else. Yeah, yeah. If you right. have yeah. an interest, you yeah. will learn it, right? Yeah, I agree. So, so you remember there's certain classes oh. that you in yeah. college that you've learned, right? Whether that's tennis class or something that's interesting, you will learn it in college. But it's still right. academia, right? But you have an interest. Anything else that wasn't an interest to you, like, hey, you know, calculus, ah, statistics. Why, why an appreciation? I, 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 I just, remember <laughs> stuff from wine appreciation in college. Exactly. Because I appreciate wine. I like wine, you know. Right, uh, because and, you're and talking I, about, I, like, you're talking about, like, I've used that on many travels around, you know, different. Uh, you know. Or whatever that you have to take to kind of be like, hey, I, I've, I've 
get all these required right. uh, 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 curriculum, right? You don't remember shit about. I mean, St- I, you want to quiz me on probability, st- statistical probabilities classes that I took? Like I, like I mean, I literally like I mean, I my brain, I will go, I will like melt in front of you, and I'll just be like, I have no idea. Like ball, there was yeah. like three green balls, and like you you threw one of them up, and I don't know. I, don't, I mean, there's like a million scenarios. Those tests, I swear to you, I went in and I was like, I would look at the problem and I would just go, uh, you know, and I would just like, honestly, I could have just made, I could have just scribbled anything on there and, and it would have been probably better than what I cared about. I was like, just get me out of this class so I can pass this test, so I can get my fucking degree, so I can leave, you know? <laughs> like, uh, uh, is, you know, in, in, in today's society, everybody is being forced to learn things they don't want to learn. Yep. And in today's society is we are, we are, we are told that we have to be well-rounded and we have to be like, okay, I'm, I'm good in math. I'm good in uh, writings. I'm good in blah, blah, blah. And we, uh, we have to be this all encompassed person and in yeah. corporate, we yeah. all do the same thing. It's like, we, we don't learn anything. We don't learn shit. So yeah. it's like, you, the only thing you're doing is you're just taking away the time that I would be available to learn the things I want to learn. Yep. So I'm neither good at what I'm good at, no, I'm good at anything else. But if you exactly. leave me alone and let me pursue That's my miserable. <laughs> my my interests, right? I will be a much better contributor to society. I would have a, a I will be contributing to society in a much much greater extent than I would have been. Right. Well, and so right the, now, the, right today's the today's. Thread. Today's uh, individual, we are basically draining our society instead of, you know, contributing to society. We we create these these the these useless, um, like, I guess just shells of a of a person. I mean, like, think about me as an AE at Salesforce. Um, you know, during this journey, right? Think about all the things that we've been learning and exploring and doing together um, through this whole entire journey. And think about what I did every single day, you know, and the level of the abilities of my skills, knowledge, and things that I like to do that I did every single day. It was maybe 5%, maybe, you know, like talk about, talk about stupid um, on, on all parts, you know, on my part, on the business's part, like, you know, like what a waste of, of exactly. what I could possibly be doing for, if Salesforce just said, Chris, I will just pay you what you make right now to go do whatever you're doing and figure out how we can go apply this into the Salesforce ecosystem and whatever capacity that you want to contribute to that, go do that. Like, uh, and they would, I guarantee you, I would have brought more value to that business in the long run, way more immensely, exponentially more value to that business. But, but like, that's not how it works. Like they have to pay you based off of a very specific job they're asking you to do in a very Procrustean bed, you know, of like, Chris, I need you to be a, a sales professional and doing this particular job and hitting this particular quota to go do X, Y, Z. Otherwise, you're not used. You're you're useless to this organization as a whole. That's just the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my mind. And when you say it the way that we're that we're talking about it, like, but at the same time, like, it's hard to convince people to to I don't know compensate somebody to not provide immediate tangible value, even if that tangible value that, that they that they think that they're providing to the business is only like five percent of what they're capable of doing. But like. But that's that's the way that we see it. It's like if we don't have an immediate reason why you know we we want somebody involved in a project, then then their value they don't have any value, you know. And like that's not true. Like like it's it's the exact opposite of that, right? Like so, um, uh, it's just it's just short sightedness, honestly. Like I mean, it's really just short sightedness, and and that's what we're trying to do with clubbing is is to take out the short sightedness of this and say let's just give people a playground to go explore questions and go do what they want to go do and learn. And then go apply that learning to whatever the fuck they want to apply that to, and let's see what happens. You know, like and because the thing is, I think once you once you're on that trajectory, it's it's you cannot help but be productive. It's, it's, I don't I don't care what it is you do. There's no way to not be productive. Like because I mean, the thing, like, like I say, <laughs> you, you can say, well, I love I love to eat, and that's all I want to do, right? Great. Go you to become the best the best foodie. You become the yeah. the, the you you you. You say, well, the people I can I can make this food uh, supply chain and all these things very efficient because I know exactly the kind of food that you know people like, blah blah. Because they, you cannot help but be productive, and you'd right. be so productive because 
this is what you 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 yearn to do when you wake up. You you probably wouldn't sleep just to stay and to do the thing. You somebody go. I I know that I I I think is people say well, like there's certain things that hey you think that people don't want to do but they like to do because like you think about people who go fishing right. I've seen a lot of people who love fishing and they would do that like day in, day out and, and, and for the whole entire life. That, that, that's what they do. You're talking about people who who like, how the fuck do you code? You know what I mean? It's like it's all this all this variable and, 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 and simples, right? Well, you look at me. He's like, I'm just not the like to code. Right. You know what I mean? So, so you, think, you think that, hey, there's certain thing that just no one wants to do. That's not, that's not true. That's Somebody cool. is gonna like something, but the beaver is gonna like that and feel that he's he's compelled to do it. So yeah. I'm saying is you know when whenever you are down that path, you cannot help but being so productive because you have so much knowledge in that area that it it's brings cake. out the value, <laughs> right? So so you just cannot get. It's like you 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 have the like the bottomless pit of of appetite for whatever that you do, whether it has playing tennis. Whether it is to build something, whether it is to you know go fishing or to go study animals, study rocks. I mean, there's people who love to study rocks. There's people who love to, to to. I mean, they're not forced to do it. They just they spend days in it. I mean, people yeah. have 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 le- uh, left like you know comfort of their homes or whatever. You go into the the the, the most the most like <laughs> dangerous place in in the most in has in hospitable places to go and dig up bones and stuff. I mean, and, and they, that's what they live for. And so you, if, if you match the profession with the, with the trait of who they are, they cannot hope, but brings contribution to society in a much, much greater scale than you will force somebody to, Hey, you shall do the KBR to, to, <laughs> to, uh, to rate, people to make sure that you know they're in line blah 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 right and, and it, it's like what a waste i mean it's 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 a waste of resources but it's also a waste of life because you wasting mm-hmm. your life because you either spent your life or you waste your life because you're not trading something of value do, to you. you do you watch ted lasso by the way by any chance no uh damn it oh gosh that's like one of the only shows that i actually watch these days uh, i love <laughs> it's such a good show uh, you would, I think you would love it actually. Um, uh, uh, you should watch it though. It's, it's, it's a really, really, really good show. Um, okay. but I'm not going to get into it if you don't watch it. Cause it was an episode last week about positionless soccer, um, where, you know, I was thinking like positionless organizations, right. You know what I mean? Anyway, it doesn't matter. I, that was where I was going with it. But I it, mean, it, when we, we talk about this before, because, yeah, uh, you, yeah. I, I told you about the, the traffic in other country where there's no traffic light, right. Right. There's no, there's no rule, but there is a an unspoken rule, just like the rules of uh, the the civil rule. It's, it's, a, it's, a, symph- it's a symphony, it's, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, the thing it's is, an orchestration. Is we, we, without spoken rule, we have to. The thing is, um, you on un- you and I understand what um, EQ is, right? Mm-hmm. Right. EQ is not something you you taught. It, it, you you have it naturally. Well. No, I mean, you can because learn, you can learn it, and you, no, no, no. EQ, EQ is what we have because as as a, as a baby, I can grow up and I can I can learn about hey, if if mommy is like angry, right? There's right. certain face. Not okay, not when, in a brave new world, sir. Not in a so, brave new world. So so for me, like for you and me today, like are you smiling? Okay, that means that he's he's nice to me. Right. If you're not smiling or or you give me some kind of weird look, I understand what you're saying. Right. So there's un- it's not like okay, there is, is there a written rule for that? No, of course not. No, yeah. Yeah. no. So we have that ca- capacity to orchestrate ourselves, right? So we, when you're talking about position, this lot soccer. I play soccer, so I, I can understand what you're saying yeah. because in soccer or in, in in football or whatever, even in basketball, there is positions like you know a center, right. or forward, uh, whatever, right? But I'm I'm saying is. If you if you don't have rule, you can access to play, because if, you you revert back to the 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 instincts of of human EQ. The, the 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 thing that they talked about was was this thing called total football, uh, where you um, it's it's like the triangle offense in basketball, where like there's always somebody that's like a pivot point where 
you know, everybody can go up or forward or move all around kind of thing. It was, it's this, it's this, it's this uh, soccer philosophy called, or football philosophy called total, total football. Right. Uh, and um, uh, it's, it's just that no player <clears throat> should have a fixed position um, is, is, I mean, that's, if the roles are fluid, the individual. I mean, the thing is, the, I think it's and, for yeah. most, for the most part, like the football, that's how basketball football, is now. soccer, yeah. like soccer in, in general, it started out as position positionless uh, game. Yeah, just, hey, that's why it's just called the beautiful the game. It's just, it's just right? let it flow. You know, it, it's like, only, it's only until later on that you start to put rules and in, in positions into say, like, hey, a midfielder can't, you know, really go back to the, the goal to to the uh, the goal line. It has to be the defender, a sweeper, right, or striker. And then you're talking about forward or wings. Like for for like when I play soccer, I play wings, right? I'm always on the edge. Mm-hmm. Right, right. I'm like when, when we have the ball, I have to be on the corner. <laughs> when we lose the ball, I have to be on the other side of the corner. <laughs> right. So shoot, shoot. But that's the thing is, I can't go to the middle because I'm not a midfielder. <laughs> yeah. Because once yeah. I go to the middle, that means that if somebody's in the middle, I have to I have to go back to my position. Right. right? And so that thing is creating that. Oh my god, my eyes are killing me, man. <laughs> I, I just want to go. I just need to go get like a Q-tip and get the stuff out of the corner of my eyes, like so bad. Like I just keep going, like. <laughs> You want like, to take I, a five minute break? <laughs> uh, no, I'm no, I'm good. We'll we'll just have to wrap soon because it's like okay. I'm I'm like I just want to itch my eyes so bad right now and I can't. It's like burning so bad. Fucking pink eye. I just like I mean I don't have it thank God yet, but I because well, I don't just... have it because I have this right next to me like a little hand sanitizer and I'm constantly you know because every single time that I touch anything <laughs> in this house for the past two weeks I'm like yes. hand sanitizing all day long because I can't touch my face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sorry, hear that man. You're just, just <laughs> hang in there. <laughs> we'll get it. We'll get it. But no, sorry, sorry to cut you off. But like, I mean, seriously, I'm, I'm really distracted right now. Like, I, yeah. I, I just, I want to pick my the whatever's going on, like in both of my eyes now. Now it's getting worse. Like, I mean, I, 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 just I mean, I guess we, so I guess we can, we can close, we can close it. Because uh, I think we, we you know, probably late over time already. Oh so. yeah, we are. Yeah, we're, we're, we are here. Yeah. Um. So all right. Sorry. Sorry to. Sorry to have a a crash and burn fiasco there, but no, I gotta go. I gotta go get the shit out of my eyes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right. That was a fun conversation as always, and uh, thanks everybody for joining. And um, uh, you know, the question we can leave you with is, when was the last time you learned something just because you wanted to? Um, and if you haven't in a long time, then something to think about. <laughs> yeah, and you should think about it. I mean, to, to learn something you don't want to learn, it's torture. <laughs> torture. It's awful. It's the worst. <laughs> Uh, All right. Well, with that, we'll leave with you the questions and we'll see you tomorrow. Have a good one. Good night. Good night.